County, Indiana, the National Weather Service in Chicago has issued high wind warning, which is in effect from 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this morning to 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this evening. The wind advisory is no longer in effect. Timing, late this morning through this evening. Winds, southwest winds will increase by early afternoon, then become westerly by early evening as a strong cold front pushes across the area. Widespread wind gusts of 45 to 55 miles per hour are expected with a few gusts to around 60 miles per hour, especially in the mid to late afternoon. Wind speed should ease later this evening. Impacts, wind gusts to 60 miles per hour could blow down tree limbs and power lines and could cause minor structural damage to buildings. Wind Good morning, this is uh, Gino Izzy with the National Weather Service in Chicago. We're going to go ahead and interrupt uh, current scheduled programming to bring you a special broadcast and a discussion about the threat and potential for severe thunderstorm and a tornado outbreak to occur today across northern Illinois and northwest Indiana. Uh, conditions continue to look incredibly favorable for an outbreak of both severe thunderstorms and tornadoes across the region today. Beginning as early as in the, this morning, right now, we're actually currently watching uh, strong thunderstorms developing across Ogle and Lee County. We're going to continue to see thunderstorms increase in coverage and intensity this morning and continue into the afternoon. We still have some uncertainties and questions regarding uh, what mode the storms will take, whether they'll evolve quickly into a squall line or whether they'll stay more isolated and cellular. Should storms develop quickly into a squall line, which is not what our current expectation is, then the threat would probably transition more towards damaging wind and briefer, still significant, though not uh, as the, the tornado threat would maybe be somewhat diminished. The more likely scenario and what we're currently expecting is that the uh, storms will maintain more of a cellular mode through at least uh, late morning, probably into the early afternoon hours as they move across the area. What that means, given the extremely strong wind fields from the surface all the way up to 30, 40,000 feet in the atmosphere, is the setup just looks exceptionally favorable for the development of supercells capable of producing tornadoes and even the potential of strong and long track tornadoes across northern Illinois and northwest Indiana. This is not a typical uh, time of year that we often see major tornado outbreaks, so we really want to raise people's awareness about this potential today. Uh, if you've got outdoor plans, if you're doing anything, uh, make sure you have a weather radio handy. If you don't have a weather radio, make sure you have a radio or television. Stay attuned and stay abreast to the weather. Thunderstorms, once they develop, and we're going to be moving extraordinarily quickly somewhere in the neighborhood as slow as 55 miles per hour, but possibly as fast as 70 miles per hour. So once the storms develop, they can traverse a large portion of the CWA or the portion can move hundreds of miles in just a couple of few hours. So this is going to be a day where conditions can change very, very rapidly from relatively benign weather and unseasonably warm like it is right now to potential uh, tornadoes in just a matter of minutes. So you really want to stay abreast of the situation. We think a strong cold front will move through uh, during the mid to late afternoon. As that happens, our threat of severe thunderstorms will quickly diminish. Uh, current thinking is uh, areas of north central Illinois, the prime time that we're most concerned about the threat of severe weather is from right now through probably early afternoon. As you head into the Chicago metropolitan area, southward down into east central Illinois, down in Ford, Iroquois, Livingston counties, we think the prime time is probably starting in the neighborhood of 10 or 11 a.m. through about 3 p.m. And as you head into northwest Indiana, we're looking at a time of like maybe 11 to noon through about 3 or 4 p.m. The Storm Prediction Center has already issued a particularly dangerous situation tornado watch for the entire listening area until 4 p.m. The uh, PDS, the Particularly Dangerous Situation wording, is extraordinarily rare for nationwide, but even more rare in our area. So this is something you really want to have a very heightened sense of awareness that the potential exists to see damaging tornadoes, the type of tornadoes that they typically see out in the plains. While they'll be faster moving here, the type of damage that occurs with those tornadoes could occur with tornadoes that occur across the region today. So stay tuned and stay abreast of what the latest developments are, and please listen for later watches or warnings. Caution number 561 has been issued until 4 o'clock p.m. for the following counties.